Hey everyone, it's John. Today we're taking a look at this heated vest, and this was sent out to me for review, and I'll show you what I found with it so far. I am very impressed with the build quality of this jacket. I've taken it out of the box, as soon as you put it on, you can tell this is a very warm and well-built jacket from like the elastic in the sleeves to the zipper. Everything feels really good about it. Now let's first of all get sizing out of the way. I'm about 6'2", 170 pounds, and I got this in a size large. Um, and you can see here, I've got a little bit of extra room as far as the sleeves, but this being a heavier jacket, I wanted to be able to layer underneath it and have plenty of room in the sleeves. And I'll kind of show you how it fits here. I've got a little bit of extra room here for um, adding in layers underneath, but I do want to show that it has a way to adjust here. So it's got these little pull tabs on each side here so that you can adjust and really tighten in that bottom a little bit and it has those on each side. And then let's get into the heated function because it did take me just a minute to figure this out. And so the way that it works, it comes with this power bank here. It's got a couple ways to charge it. You can charge it with the provided power cable, USB-C or standard USB, which is awesome. So plenty of ways to charge this thing. And then it plugs in just like this. And then it has a power button here at the top. And in order to get this thing to turn on, you do have to hit the power button every time. And it says so in the manual, just press it like that. And that's a bit of a safety that they have built in just so that you have pressed that button to make sure that it doesn't come on. Uh, and it only comes on when you want it to basically. And that will zip in there just like so. And I'll zip this up here and show you how this works. So then we've got three different options here. We've got ear, which is for this little hood. So they've actually got a heaters here in the hood. And then we've got front and back. So you can control where it is you want the heat going. And a uh, use case for this that I can think of is riding in the car. If you want your front to be uh, heated, but not necessarily the back, if you're in the seat and you want that pressing up against you. So there may be, and you can adjust that on the fly. And then when you get out in the cold, the wind, if you're skiing or anything like that, then you can adjust that. But all we do is you press and hold here and you can see that turns red. And it may not pick up super uh, much on the camera here, but we can adjust this. And this will go to blue. And then green. So green is gonna be the, the uh, lowest setting. And then we have red and then blue. So you can adjust these all different. As you can see, I've got this one blue, the front green and then the back red. So you can adjust this however you want. And then once again, we just press and hold to turn back off. So very simple operation here, but all in all, this is just a really well-built jacket. It does have a little, it even comes with a patch, but it's got a little area to put your own patches if you wanted to on the side there, which is very cool. We've got a zipper here and then even a zipper here on the sleeve. So plenty of places to keep things like, you know, a uh, lift ticket or things like that if you were to use this for a ski jacket. But all in all, nice deep pockets here on the front. This is just a very well-built jacket. I'm very impressed with it. And the fact that it's heated is gonna make it really well suited for winter conditions. But that's overall a quick little uh, overview of this. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.